Hey everyone, this is Matt of Matty Brown VHS Archives, and today I'm going to do something I've never done before, and I'm going to give you a channel update. Uh, I have never done this before. I've never been a podcaster. I'm not really used to speaking into a microphone, so forgive me, this is all new to me. Uh, if you hear some tape hiss in the background, that's because this was recorded on a cassette tape uh, on a Tascam Mini Studio Porta 2. Uh, unless there's tape hiss and background noise, it doesn't belong on my channel, so I thought I'd do something a little different there. But anyways, yeah, you're gonna hear crinkling of paper with the notes, and you're gonna hear... You hear that? That's not good. That's <laughs> echoing through my microphone, but hey, this is the first one. So, I come to you today because on January 1st of the year 2024, my channel got nuked completely into non-existence. It was shocking for me because I've never received a strike. I know what you're thinking. With all my old commercials and stuff, it must have been a copyright issue, right? No, no, it wasn't. YouTube said I was participating in scams and deceptive practices it had nothing to do with copyright now I don't know if you guys out there have a YouTube channel but if you've ever been in a situation like this the first thing you will learn is there is a complete brick wall between you and YouTube they are impossible to reach and when you do reach someone you get automated AI responses that have nothing to do with what you're trying to communicate with them. It's maddening. So, but I, there were some, so I sent some emails and I, uh, thankfully, I started communication with Team YouTube on Twitter or X. And, um, yeah, I got pretty much nothing of use. They said they'd look into it. But I said, I've never, I don't know, I'm, I'm not running scams on my channel, so what gives? And it seemed like nothing was going to happen, and I sat around waiting and waiting, and until the 30th of January, when my channel came back. <laughs> so I got nuked and unnuked, and I will never know why I've... Trust me, I've asked, and no one at YouTube is going to tell me why, so it will forever be a mystery. But anyways, I'm not sure if you noticed. I don't know if I would notice if most uh, YouTube channels suddenly disappeared unless they, you know, did rhythmic content on a certain day of the week every week, and then suddenly they weren't there one day. But I've got to give a shout-out to super subscriber Aaron Wolf who hunted me down on Facebook. I don't know how he did that, because it's not like he had... The channel was gone, so he had no reference uh, for any information on me, but he somehow found me on Facebook and reached out. So I really appreciate that, Aaron. And I'm happy... Uh, I'm happy the channel is back. So where do we go from here? I know what you all want. You want Nickelodeon. <laughs> Aaron asked if I have, what, 1994 New Year's Eve Nickelodeon? The truth is, I don't know. I didn't label my tapes. I was really into tech as a kid, and I taped tons of stuff. But I didn't label it. I didn't organize it. So basically what I do is every time I go to my parents' house, I grab 20 tapes or so, bring them home, and start capturing. And what is going to be on them is a complete mystery to me, as much as it is for you guys. So I capture it, I post it, you know, but Aaron had said, do I do video requests? And I don't, I don't know how I could. I don't know what is on the tapes. So yeah, it's kind of a crapshoot. It's a grab bag. It's, it is what it is. I hope there's more Nickelodeon. There probably is. I was a Nickelodeon kid. I watched a lot of Nickelodeon, but how much of it is, there is, I'm not sure. What I do know I have is another tape I've already captured, which is 
It was Nickelodeon in 1999. They did a sort of birthday celebration, and they played a bunch of the good, real, you know, the good stuff from the golden ages, you know, whatever that would be, 90, early 90s. Um, so <clears throat> I have another tape of a couple hours of them playing that, but the commercials are from 1999. They're not the real, you know classic stuff but it's still you know kids commercials are always a little more fun than the adult commercials I think so I have that and the other thing I'm gonna give you guys is this is an oddity this is a it's a full-length movie made by a friend of mine Joey it's it's sort of a fusion of public access meets shenanigans in a comic book store uh, it's not going to be for everyone, but it truly is a VHS oddity, rarity, you know, it is, I'm one of probably a few people in the world who have a copy of this, and Joey said I can host it, so I'm going to put that up for you guys, you might find it fun, it's a real time capsule of that period, the year 2000, shot on VHS, um, Anyways, I think that's about all I have for you folks. The channel's back. I got thrown out of my off my game a little bit by the, a, a month of nothing, no channel, but now it's back. So I guess I'm going to uh, get another batch of tapes from my parents, try to keep the content coming, keep some shorts going that gets people, you know, tuning in and... Yeah, thank you so much uh, to everyone who pays attention to this channel and enjoys the commercials. I love your comments and everything. And I guess that's about it. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.